Hello, my name is Dr. Michael Mack. I'm one of the residents here at the University of Calgary here to explain to you Cataract B Navigation and Instruments Faecal Training Level 3. So this is a very frustrating level because the instructions are very unclear of what you're supposed to do. And it's also inconsistent across some of the other levels as well. So for instance, if those balls were, rep were supposed to represent a phaco uh, lens piece, um, if I were just to be using my regular technique of quadrant removal one settings and then um, taking out and the, uh, the quadrant completely, I would have scored 100, as you can see in some of my other videos. However, in this particular video, they're emphasizing that the phaco tip should not go unoccluded at any point of the level. So what you're supposed to do is you're actually supposed to make the balls as small as possible bring them to the center, and then use uh, quad removal one settings with a lower phaco energy, and then consume the balls. So each ball needs about 35 to 40 percent phaco energy to start bringing it down to a smaller piece. But you're not supposed to consume each piece at a time. What you're really supposed to do is you're supposed to make four small balls so that when you consume or um, use ultrasonic energy and aspiration, your tip is not occluded um, or unoccluded, sorry, at any particular moment in time. So here I'm demonstrating that I'm going to take one ball and then I quickly consume one ball after the other and then that's how you score 100. So that's a really strange level. I don't think that it simulates real life quite well, but this is how you actually pass the level. Thanks for watching.